Your vote is your voice, and in Chamorro it's bota za un maquenta, which means that if you don't come out to vote, please don't complain about what kind of government we have. And for this upcoming election, GEC Executive Director Maria Pangilinan hopes the number of ballots cast will speak volumes, especially with over five dozen candidate packets picked up in just the last two weeks. However, Pangilinan says being that this year is a non-gubernatorial election, it may have an impact. The trend is that in non-gubernatorial years, voter participation is very low, almost dismal. Uh, so, but you know, we hope to change that trend because um, of the number of participants in our election. We think that maybe uh, we may surpass what, what has been done in the past. The positions up for election in the August primary are for senator, congressional delegate, mayor, vice mayor, and public auditor. Voter turnout in the last two primary elections was both at 44 percent. Voter turnout rose to 67 percent in the 2012 general election and 72 percent for the 2014 general election. We hope that the voters turn out because they're interested in making Guam a better place to live, a good place to make it continue to be a good place to live. So, um, and I'm surprised at, I, I'm pleasantly surprised at the interest. Just yesterday, uh, I confirmed with a student from Tizen High School with the Close Up group, they want to do a student-led voter registration drive. We should note this will be the first election since the controversial pay raises for elected leaders were given. Pangolinan says her goal is to register more voters, especially the youth. If we bring out young voters, we may get closer to the 60,000. Um, and that's a hard number to be. Uh, a more realistic number would probably be about 52, 52,000. Uh, as of January 31st, there were 45,123 registered voters. The GEC website shows 114 new voters were registered in January alone. One way the GEC plans to register more voters is to enlist the help of volunteer voter registrars. One who on his, on his or her own time will go out and register potential voters. Um, they can go out anywhere in the community and the, it, all it takes is uh, two, three hours of training with us. The GEC will be holding trainings every Friday, but if groups want to get trained, the GEC can set up a special schedule. For more information on how to register to vote, call the GEC at 477-9791. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.